work harder than me. No athlete work harder than me. Fuck fighters. No athlete works harder than me. How you doing, everyone? My name is Ryan, and this is Ade, and welcome back to another edition of Box Talk. It's post fight review time. Last night, we had Ishande Lara versus Canelo Alvarez. This is one of those fights where I can talk about scoring. It depends what you like. Cleaner punching or the effective aggression. Ade. See, you know what? The first statement there is a tricky one. It depends what you like. It's such a subjective statement. Boxing, and many uh, historians will tell you, really is a simple fact of you hitting someone and that someone really not hitting you back. Mm. That's the idea of boxing, really, to hit someone and, and not get hit back. Shanda Lara, from as, as much as what people want to say, look at the punch stats yesterday, he hit Canelo more than Canelo hit, hit him. Actually, don't get me wrong, um, Canelo was putting it on him, Canelo, was probably fr- Canelo threw a lot more punches, but in terms of percentages, Lara hit more. The thing that, I guess, went against Lara is that unlike... See, people could try to compare it to the Mayweather fight. Mm. Unlike Mayweather that kind of stays in the pocket and doesn't... Re- Lara does this thing where he really does run. Unfortunately, I, what, he, he moves a bit too much, and that goes against him slightly. I don't like the word run. Yeah, run. We don't like the word run in boxing yet. Is that you want to put a person in an uncomfortable position and you in a good position? If you make someone miss winging shots for the first three rounds, I mean, Alvarez was swinging for the fences and couldn't land the shit. Could, I mean, yeah. I'm not joking. And then Lara kind of this little cocky walk up, like, yeah, yeah, I've done that. It's true. And that's not running. That's not right. running. That's not running. That's psychological saying, look, I'm fucking with you. I'm showing you how yeah. better of a boxer I am than yeah, you. Yeah, that, that's what it is, though. I mean, but also, it's a, at the same point, judges like... When you're talking about putting punches together, mm. landing a quick one-two and walking off, and then Iris calling you to the ring Some judges, and yeah. working the body, yes, it's, quick, it's a flashy one-two, but that little flash of the body, bam, 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 could be five, six, seven, eight shots. You yeah. know what I mean? It's different. This is one of those fights here, whereas I disagree with one of the judges' scorecards, that 11 is ridiculous, yeah. but I can understand how people are going to have serious issues with the scoring of this fight. Because, like I said, the judges have problems because it is what it is down to what you like. And if you watch it objectively without being a fan favourite, try to watch it as a boxing fan, you could score or call maybe three or four of those rounds for either fighter, depending on what you feel. Yeah, look, if you have me watching the fight, I'm a, I'm a Mayweather fan, I'm a Hopkins fan. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm a boxer fan. I yeah. like guys that are boxed. I like skillful boxers. So... so I'm a Lara fan, in a sense. I could be sitting watching the fight with someone who um, is a fan of Arturo Getty and Ricky Hatton. Kind of the brawler type type of fans, Mickey Ward. Yeah. We could be watching the fight, and he could have scored it 170-111 Canelo. I could be scoring 170-111 Lara. And I can understand how we could completely yeah. disagree. Me and Ryan, um, in our pre-fight video, we said, Lara's not going to get this if it goes to no. points. That's a standard. He wasn't going to get this unless he really does hurt yeah. Canelo. Yeah. And he failed to do so. No, that's the thing about it. Uh, with all with all the flashy headshots, with all the the, the one two, I wouldn't say combinations. No, it's just one, one two. One twos, yeah. He didn't hurt Canelo once. Yeah. Yeah. Alvarez was working most of the body, not throwing a high bunch of headshots, but his one called the damage to the face. Mm. And those are those, those are things that are not scoring things, but those are psychological things that a judge will see and say, look, he's bleeding. Mm. Oh look, he's kind of hurt him. Oh, he didn't really touch him, but he touched him. It's things like that, and you gotta understand with judges as well, they are human. You know what I'm trying to say? Things like that will affect, crowd reaction will affect what, pe- what people's influences are. Sometimes you always wonder if the judges could almost become, or almost should be picked from ex-boxers. I always feel like boxers have a better eye for what yeah. really goes on in the ring. When someone's against the ropes yeah. and he's land, like Canelo did yesterday, yeah. he, he took things to the ropes and he, la- he hit, you know, he threw about seven or eight punches. Two landed. Mm. But the crowd noise and looking back, you know, it, yeah. it almost looked like eight or nine landed and he didn't. That's even, why he looked at the with, with, with average trip, Lara, the crowd went crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. And he hanged onto the rope and tried to fall back in. It was just a trip of the leg. I got a copy of Ring Magazine from a few years ago, maybe five years ago, and someone said the way they should have judging is them on tall, tall chairs, mm. about 10 feet above the ring, looking down with headphones, playing music. It's a good shout. And you're thinking that it makes no sense. Why are you going to be so high? But it makes perfect sense. You Take out the crowd interaction yeah. and look at it above so you can see everything. Not sitting down looking up where you can't see the other side of the ring. From that bird's eye view, you can see everything. How did you score the fight? I scored it by two to Lara. And look, Lara, 
In a boxing match, Lara clearly won. If it was a boxing match, Lara mm. clearly won the boxing match. The thing, the word that we probably look for is there, as you said, how did I score the fight? Mm. And that's the thing, I think, yeah. where Lara struggled. Lara didn't get involved in a fight right. enough. That, he did right. against Paul Williams. Paul Williams was a fight where and Angulo, when Angulo yeah. got him and knocked him down and he got up and he went to fight. He mm. would look back at that boxing match yeah. and think, why did I just not fight for a couple of rounds? This is why, when you had... When you had Classy boxers say, I know how to win rounds. That's the difference between winning the round and winning the fight. You won the fight, but you didn't win the rounds. Yeah. You won the rounds, but you didn't win the fight. That's the difference. When Lara won the rounds by looking crafty and quick, yeah. but he didn't win the fight. It's, it's, it's different. I scored it slightly different. I had Canelo winning, but it could have been a draw. I had them five rounds even, yeah, and I had, ra- I had round five and round ten, which are swing rounds which depending on what you like more, yeah. you could have chose over. Okay. Based on that scorecard, you could either have it 5 rounds to 7 for Lara, 5 rounds to 7 for Canelo, but I thought Canelo closed the show in the final two rounds, which gave him the edge. Yeah, look, I'm, uh, you know, look, we, we're doing this video now, I think it's what, 7.30. A lot of people on Twitter, in between watching the fight, said, oh, robbery, robbery, robbery. It wasn't a robbery. It, was it a robbery. wasn't a robbery. Look, we all knew, and, and Lara's cap knows as well, Canelo going into the fight is the favourite yeah. for the fight. Yeah. You've got to do a bit more, yeah. Lara. When you know you've got against... You, you, you probably are going against... Maybe maybe the judges, I don't know. You're going against... I say the hometown fighter, but the fighter's obviously yeah. in America, but he's the hometown fighter. You've got to do so much more. Those last two or three rounds, I was screaming at the TV for Lara to do a bit more. I don't know what he was doing. He was still... I don't know, Ronnie... I don't understand that there's a breakdown in dialogue and communication. Yeah. I know Ronnie talks to him and he has to kind of talk for a yeah. translator. And when the heat of the moment is happening in 10, 11, 12, I don't know if that's the best, the best thing yeah. you can do. I don't know. Oh, no. Like, like, like with you, I thought Lara won the match I by watching the fight and thinking who's controlling the pace, who's yeah. controlling the distance. You know, I was getting off in spots at certain points, but scoring the actual fight, my scorecard was a totally different thing to what I actually watched on the TV. And that's like, it was those swing rounds there where I watched the fight and then this morning I re-watched rounds five and round, I think it was round ten, and I watched them and I watched it with no volume and I watched it twice and I scored the rounds just differently each time and I just could not that's get it right. I could not get it right. I could not make a, a fair decision. But based on what I scored the fight as at the time, it ended up going to Canelo by two rounds. Um, Canelo's an interesting... and in, watching, watching that fight, Canelo's very interesting. I, I wouldn't say he's one-dimensional. That'd be true. That'd be rude. We're talking about a guy that's had nearly yeah. 50 fights. But there was something about just come forward, go to the body and unleash hell. Yeah. And I thought he was a better boxer than no, that. Uh, he, 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 I, and I'm sure he is a better boxer. Now. I'm a bit confused. I don't. Know, I don't know if that was the tactics. Everyone said. I think we spoke to Doug Fisher. And Doug Fisher mentioned about Canelo going to the body. Yeah. And I don't know if that was just purely. That's all the tactics were. But that seemed to be it. Again, it's, what you said just hit me to my head. It's like right now, I can't believe I scored Ares to win the fight. When you're saying that, because right, he didn't do nothing, but he did do something. Yeah. It's a. It's, it's a. It's a. It's, it's a hard one to, to break down exactly how you want to break it down. It was just pure aggression more than anything. When I look at the fight, I think of the actual fight. Look, Canelo didn't land clean shots, a lot of clean shots. Yeah. He worked the body, you know, I'm trying to say more than anything else. A lot of time, he was just chasing, chasing, chasing. But then judges, people call that controlling the ring. Mm. But if I, I don't call it controlling the ring unless you're actually doing something with it yeah. to make you control it. Mm. If other guys making you follow him and switch it in, where he's chasing you to the left, he's trying to go to the right, and you're following him, then I, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, the guy you're following is winning. Yeah. Because he's you're making chasing you the guy down. chasing the guy down. Yeah. But... Oh, it's, um, it's, it, I would like to see a rematch, but as much as I want to see the rematch, I think the rematch will prove nothing to the quagmire of this fight. Yeah, I, I feel like good word. Yeah. I feel like um, exactly the same thing would happen. Yeah. I think the only person that can change that the outcome of the fight, and I actually thought all the mm-hmm. everything was in Lara's hands, <clears throat> sorry, Canelo's hands. I think Lara is the only person that could change the outcome of the yeah. fight. If Lara came to fight for the last yeah. two or three rounds, mm-hmm. we would have had something. Yeah. Whether it be Canelo dropping him <clears throat> or Lara winning the fight yeah. and winning it comfortably towards the end. I just think that he tried to box in the last two or three rounds, and just based on those last two or three rounds, I can yeah. see why the judges yeah. gave it to Canelo. Lara had a strong <clears throat> start, but from by round seven, he was kind of out of the fight. Yeah. To me, oh, in saying that in hindsight, mm. I, as in because I think I scored rounds eight, nine, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve to Avarice. Yeah, like for me, I think yeah. the first seven or I think I think the first eight rounds, I think only gave Canelo two rounds. Yeah. And then I think you're 9, 10, yeah. 11, 12. Yeah. I think that's when he started coming through. I, 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 I gave Lara one, two, three. I gave four to Alvarez. Five was a swing round. Six was Alvarez. Seven was Lara. And then I think the rest from there was all Canelo, except for 10, which I think was a sw- another swing round where it's like, 
I could have, I could have flipped a coin. Okay. That's how I said. Very quickly, a couple goes. minutes left on this one. Um, we we know where Canelo goes, and we'll talk about that. We'll give that a few yeah. more minutes. Where does Lara go from here? Lara's not going to get the rematch. That's that's a certain. He was lucky to get this one. He did. I wouldn't say lucky, but I mean that it was a risk that Canelo didn't really need to do. Where does Lara go from here? It was a split decision. It was a good fight, but it's a fight that does Lara no favors. Mm. Yeah. TV executives in HBO or Showtime are not going to see him. Don't want to see him not engaging. Now, as much as we found it and people found it as a beautiful performance, they want blood and guts. I mean, you mentioned Ochoa Ot- Gatti book um, in, in previous in the previous previous. Previously, Gatti was on TV every single week. Mm. He gave you blood and guts. Yeah. yeah, And that's what people want on TV. They want that type of fight. They do not like these boxers unless your name is Floyd Mayweather. And that's why people like Rigo can't get on TV. And that's why Lara's not going to get another big fight after this. I think Lara's going to go back to what he was doing before. Hustling to get a good fight against, again, the average people in the, 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 the top fives. Mm. Not, the, not, the, not the one, two, three. The five, six, seven, eight, nines. See, the problem for, for me, I have for Lara as well, is that Lara, we know we've got a, a, a very ba- a basic one million in terms of um, upside of pay per view, so he probably walks away with two million for this fight, mm. which is good. His ego now yeah. is going to struggle to want that, you know, he's going to want that again. Yeah. There is no one out there to get him again. You've got Demetrius Andrade, who's the champion, yeah. he, you don't get that fight in him. You've got Molina, who's the champion, you don't get that fight in him. Yeah. I don't know if he has, I, I looked at him at the weight and I thought he might have to go up to 160. To get the yeah. fights, because I don't see him getting the fights. One, thing. there is no one yeah. else. But he's beating everyone else. Yeah. Angulo, he's beating Austin Trout. There is really no one else for him to fight. As one skillful thing. as Lara is, the fight with Boo Boo might make more sense for him because Boo, that, like I said, that performance will not put fear in no one's heart because he only done the one two, the one two, the one two. Even though it was skillful and it was crafty and it was slick, Lara might have opened himself up for more fights from other fighters. But not the TV companies. Yeah, I wonder if they'll risk Boo Boo against uh, against Lara. I guess it's a unification fight. I think what one's got WBA, yeah. one's got WBO. Yeah. So it goes. Sorry, so just mention that this pisses me off straight away, and I'm trying to say yeah, just what bugs me with boxing. Exactly. Is, no, no, no. T- Again, t- t- you just lost a fight. Even though it's one pound over the division, I'm trying to say, and now you're gonna keep calling yourself a champion. Now, even though I like Lara, boxing to sort itself out. Yeah, same thing. I think same thing with uh, Peterson, who's still got the IBF. And yeah. gets the IBF, yeah. that, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, even though he got destroyed by Matisse. Matisse and Matisse murdered him, yeah, but he's got that. Um, yeah. Okay, the only name linked with Canelo after that fight, we all know that was that was Miguel, Miguel Cotto. Cotto. Yeah. Will that fight happen in December or, or 2015? Based on that performance, Cotto, beats Cotto will him. go for it and Cotto beats him. Yeah. And I think Cotto will get a stoppage as well. Yeah, I think Cotto, ooh. I think Cotto will get a stoppage as well. Is that a fight you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to happen? That, will that be the first top ranked Golden Boy kind of big super fight? I think it's gonna happen. I think I think I think it's gonna happen. I think looking at it right now, it makes sense. It makes sense, especially where Carl doesn't want to weigh close to one sixty. He um Alvarez don't want to weigh one fifty four, but instead a smaller weight. So it'll be a middleweight mar- fight. It's a marquee fight. Yeah, to be a middleweight fight. To be a marquee fight, marquee name, more money than anyone Carl will get at one sixty, even including GGG. So, yeah, that's the, that's the next fight. And I'm, going for, I'm predicting it now, six months in advance, Cole gets a knockout. Woo, interesting. So there you go, guys. Look, um, it was the big fight we was all waiting for at 154. Canelo Lara, it didn't really live up to the hype, mainly really because Lara didn't really want to engage. But look, Lara's not an engaging fighter. That's the style of his fight. His fight is the box. I mean, Maywolf has been doing that for 20 years. No one seems to be complaining about that. But uh, Lara does it, and he gets all the kind of hate mail on Twitter. Where does Canelo go from here? We think Canelo goes Cotto. Big fight, big paydays. Unfortunately for Lara, it looks like he steps back a couple a couple of paces. He got two in for his fight. He's never, ever going to get that again for his next fight. Maybe Demetrius Andrade for a unification, a strange unification, because one, yeah, has a title. One really has a title, but he kind of lost the title really in his last fight. But hey, that's boxing at the moment. Leave us your comments below. Email us as well at boxtalk at hotmail.com.uk. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at boxtalk.uk. Also, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember to check out ringnews24.com. For the latest videos on us, blogged by him, and all news as well they have on boxing. And guys, thanks for tuning in for another edition of Box Talk.